Hello, my happy Scrappy friends. It is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters, and thank you for joining me for a Kidholics Kids Design Team layout. So I am pretty tickled pink with this layout, not going to lie. Um, it's not every day that you finish a scrapbook layout and go, I really love that one. I just really love it. So I am using the Vicky Booten uh, background paper that had all the, the squares in rows on it and I actually cut them myself into little pies little triangle shapes and I have then so sewn those onto a 12 by 12 white sheet of paper um, with black thread and I actually used the border that came on that piece of paper and stuck it down as well and sewed it with some black thread so I really love the way that looks the black is such a strong contrasting color but it ties in really well because of the black in Matt's suit at our wedding um, then I'm coming in with the really large floral pieces for um, the Paige Evans florals, sorry, and just tried to line those up again in sort of a tone on tone color feel. I uh, tried to put the yellow where the yellow would be and the orange where the orange and so on and so forth. I then fussy cut those words, smile, giggle, hug, dance from <clears throat> the cut apart sheet, the Vicky Burton color part sheet. And again, I am going to color match those. I could not go past that big giant yes that um, was on the Vicky Booten cut apart sheet. It is not 100% perfect for this layout, but I mean, come on, how, how many more times could you use a big giant yes? Uh, I just loved that. I thought that was perfect for the mood and feel of this particular layout. Then it's actually super easy to come together once I've done all this. Did I mention that I distressed the edges of those pieces of pie? I'm sure you can see that. And if you're wondering about any sort of splatty bit that you might be able to see in the background of that white sheet of paper, I'd actually done a mixed media background for this one and didn't love it. So I just turned the white piece of paper over and I'm just using the other side so as not to waste the piece of paper. Uh, so that's the sort of mood and feel of how my, or the general gist of how my photos are going to go. And then I'm going to have a play with the ephemera. And yeah, I just think this, I just love this. I just love the way it comes together. I think I love the tone on tone effect. I think I love the bright colors. I just, yeah, I just think it's super cute. Um, and I'm just sticking with the title good things because it is all good things on this particular day. Um, so yeah, just going to pop on all these bits and bobs. Some things I am sticking up with foam. Some things I am sticking straight to the page with the double-sided tape or the glue. Um, I just want to have varying sort of dimension all over the page just to give it a bit more interest. Uh, I also pull a bunch of stickers off the Vicky Booten Color Study sticker book because it's just a nice way, again, to tie in a few more matching colors so this little um, bulldog clip I didn't really have a matching color that word giggle it is technically in the same kind of purple but it's not as super noticeable so by tying in that bulldog clip on the top I'm helping to keep the feel of this is the purple piece of the pie I did worry when I was making this and putting it together that it was a little bit too text heavy. There is quite a lot of text happening in this ephemera, but my sister assures me <laughs> that it looks great. I think I've mentioned before, I send nearly all of my layouts to my sister, the poor thing, and she has to approve or disprove all of them uh, and give me fixing up tips because... I just need that reassurance, I guess. So I hope all of you have your own little scrappy pal that you can do things like that with. I don't think I could get through a layout without her, to be honest. And if she doesn't answer because she's busy, then my poor mum gets it. So <laughs> there is always someone that is getting sent a layout because I just can't possibly make any decisions by myself. So once I stick on these last couple of pieces of ephemera, I will pull out that fabulous... Um, thicker sheet again just to get some more color matching off that I just I've mentioned this before and I'm gonna mention it again I just adore the way Vicky Booten's thickers in particular 
have extra bits and pieces. I just love that. I love the phrases. Um, I find they're super handy when scrapbooking because you don't have to come up with a title. But I also love the extra things like the little puffy love hearts and the puffy dots that are just a really great way to add a bit more of something special to your layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on now. And then she's going to be basically done. Um, she's such a fun little page, but was super quick to come together once I'd sewn on all of the bits and pieces, just using my sewing machine. I keep my sewing machine threaded and ready to go under my desk, um, off to the side a little bit so it doesn't get in the way of my feet. I find that when I have it there, I am far more likely to use it. I used to pack it up after every time and that of course meant I didn't get it out. Like I just didn't use it. Um, and even now I don't use it that often, but I certainly use it enough and a lot more than when it was packed up. So yeah, that's my little tip. If you can find some form of space to squeeze it into, and have it set up and ready to go. That's my tip. If you're someone that would like to be sewing on your layouts. Yeah, I just have mine at my feet under my desk and I can just bend down, pick it up by its handle and stitch and then put it back again. So I am super thrilled with how this layout came together. I hope I have inspired you to use some of your colorful pages in different ways. Um, as I said, these were all squares. Um, going from darkest to lightest in that actual piece of pattern paper and I cut them into those wedges um, and I'm super happy that I did. I think they look just great. So thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you have a fabulous, happy, scrappy week.